Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Erica the Inspirer. I'm back again with another video. Uh, the last video I did was about the chakras, one and two. So this video is about three and four, but I'll do a brief explanation on one and two. So the base chakra is uh, the beginning of awareness, beginning of understanding that, oh, I'm not created here just to work for somebody else and pay bills and then expire. What? I actually have a deeper meaning to my life? Okay, I'm all stressed out and I'm panicky. I need to get a hold of myself. That's the base root. And you get in touch with your yourself at the base level of um, there's got to be more than this. You realize that and you start meditating. Um, it's to get your uh, foundation, so to speak, of what you believe in, what you believe in spiritually and mentally. Um, the second chakra is the spleen chakra. It can also be called the sacral chakra. Um, it deals with feelings and emotions. Um, and I talked about it on my last video. So like I said, I won't go too far into detail about it. But um, it's a step up, obviously, from the base. Um, and it deals more with uh, feelings, emotions, and um, dealing with uh, past hurts and traumas and things of that nature. So this video is going to be about three and four. So let's jump right into the three and four. Like I said, I'm just going to do like a little quick, you know, whatever, synapses or whatever you want to call it. So boom, we on three and four. The solar plexus chakra. So now we're looking at the pancreas, stomach, liver, small intestine, blood sugar, and digestion. Um, I told you on the last video that I'm a type one diabetic. So obviously at that stage that I was diagnosed at, which I was 16, um, I had problems with my second and third and most likely first, you know, I have no idea what chakra was. So let's just say one, let's just say all of the chakras are messed up, but really the, the focal, the focal points would have been definitely two and three, as you can see. Okay. It deals with mental energy, willpower, control over yourself versus others, beliefs, details, constructive versus self-critic thoughts and perfection. So this is about allowing people to be who they are, allowing yourself to be more of who you are, um, having control over what you say. Um, you don't have to respond to ignorance. Um, you can actually rise above ignorance. Um, so three is about mental energy, um, taking back your control over others. So just because somebody says something stupid to you doesn't mean you have to respond to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So your your third chakra is about taking back your mental stability, point blank period. Um, as you can see, um, it deals a lot with blood sugar, digestion, the liver. So if you got stomach problems, if you're diabetic, if you got problems with your intestines, stomach problems, um, intestinal problems, then you need to get in touch with your chakras. <clears throat> Bottom line. I am a nurse by trade, um, and I can say that uh, the physical body is a uh, manifestation of your mental and spiritual foundations. Simple. Let's move on. So we on number four with the heart chakra. The heart chakra is the thymus. Heart, breathing, allergies, lungs, blood pressure, lymph, immune system. So if you catch a lot of cold, if you have a lot of allergies, you're allergic to every single thing, um, you have a lot of seasonal allergies, you got problems with your lymph nodes and your immune systems, you need to work on your heart chakra. Deals with harmony, trust, lovingness, gentle with self and others, able to give and receive without giving, Flexible, open to new people, ideas, growth, coping with loss and balance. <clears throat> so for your heart chakra, some people find it kind of hard um, to heal the heart chakra. I'm going to just let you know right now that you don't have to find it difficult to heal your heart chakra. It's about forgiveness. That's the cheat code. When you forgive, you allow yourself to move forward. It's like you free yourself from the torment. So like Medea said, forgiveness is not for you. 
I mean, how I go? Forgiveness is not for them, it's for you. So, take that and run with it, okay? What, the, what she's trying to say is that forgiveness allows the spell to be broken. When someone does you wrong, it puts a spell over your heart and your emotions, which can cause you to have a heart attack, quite literally. So, when you forgive, you allow your heart to heal and you allow your mind to heal, and therefore it will not affect your body in a negative way. So that's it in a nutshell. <clears throat> Above that is 4A. Um, you see that? 4A is the spiritual heart center. Your spiritual heart center is a little bit different from your physical heart. Um, your physical heart can be broken by people and you need to forgive those people to move on. That's dealing with that. Your spiritual heart is more so being in tune with who you are as a spirit. Why Why did you come here? Why did you come here? What, what position are you supposed to be serving? Being true to your heart, the soul of you, the soul being of you, being honest with yourself and your spirit, forgiving yourself. And allowing your spirit to, to flow through and take um, charge. Your spirit knows best. Your higher self is the highest level of your spiritual healing and it knows best. So it's being in contact and being in connection with your heart, forgiving yourself and others. Okay? Let's flip it over. That's a neck pillow. That's my stand, okay? Don't laugh at me. Moving on. All right, let's see. Okay, so the third <clears throat> chakra deals with solar plexus, solar plexus, upper stomach. Um, the symbol is triangle and pyramid. That's how it is the horn. Um, you want to work with golden topaz, citrine, amber, and tiger's eye. The signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The planets are sun and earth. <clears throat> Deals with sight and auditory, hands on. Okay. So we're moving right up. See how this goes up? So every round goes higher and higher, so to speak. Okay, so I would say that the first two are the hardest to overcome and accept and to accept your... Um, <clears throat> your being completely once you conquer those first two i think you'll be straight when you go on to three and four um i would say that four is probably the harder one because you have to like really really forgive and sometimes forgiveness can be painful because you feel like certain people don't deserve it right and then you feel like if you keep them in unforgiveness it's some kind of way is where they need to be, but really you're hurting yourself. So we move up for green center chest, heart, air, cross, hexagram, emerald. Okay, so you need to work with emerald, jade, fluorite, crystal cola. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> so I had to look that up myself. But basically what you do is you um you uh get a book like this, Crystal for Beginners. And what you would do is um you would correlate the and don't laugh at my laundry basket if you saw it, so what, okay? Moving on. Told you I had a sense of humor, so I'm getting more bold about just going. Anyway, um if you have unforgiveness, you have a problem with um, these addictions right here. Marijuana, caretaking, relationships, cigarettes. So people that, um, sad to say, smoke cigarettes, smoke marijuana, and blah, 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 probably have dealt with some broken heart issues. It's I think at some point in your life, you will deal with each one of these colors. So what you want to do, oh, this is what I wanted to say. What you will want to do 
is deal with each color and um get the color stone that correlates to this color so if you're dealing with the heart you would go with um more green stones or i know um rose quartz is really good for the heart but most likely like like especially the purple you would deal with amethyst amethyst is a purple um crystal so it kind of goes with the color of what you're dealing with um so to speak so I would say deal with one at a time. Heal each one. And and I would also say, too, that it's a work in progress. I'm learning and I'm growing as I'm learning and I'm growing. I'm sharing this information as I'm learning and growing. I'm not an expert. But I have a dream and a goal. And I want to show you growth, real growth, not looking down on you. Like, I want to grow with you guys and help you get through your beginning stages of your awakening. So... I can be like super, super long winded. This was a very, very just like me to you, friend to friend, kicking it chart description. I'll be back with another video that describes five and six. If you have any questions about this, because this video was very just, um, like I said, me to you, friend to friend. So I want you to guys to really go get this um, chart though. Um, because it's so detailed, you can like look at it on a daily basis, um, and, 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 and focus on committing these to your daily practices and focus on your daily mental stability. Okay. If you, if you working on one and two, or if you working on one, work on one, if you working on two, work on two. If you work... And sometimes you may have to revisit, like you may have to come back to the heart because you were forget, you were able to forgive some people, but not everybody hit the heart again. You may have to or somebody may hurt you it's a new hurt it's a fresh hurt you gotta go back to four you gotta go back to four so it's 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 a learning and growing process it's never like oh i've reached up here into the higher realms and i don't need anybody no sometimes you may have to revisit that heart again so be patient with yourself stick with it meditate meditate anything i talk here or say here is basically just my opinion and offering up my advice as to what helped me with anxiety and depression um it's not i'm not a doctor or anything of that sort i'm a nurse and and i'm just trying to help somebody so if you liked what i said um like comment and subscribe and i'll be back covering five and six tomorrow all right, thank you for watching. If you have any type of comment or anything you want to share, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Always be blessed, stay safe, think positive thoughts, and positive things will come to you. Thanks for watching.